at the very right hand side of your screen shows the uh, multi-hatched Prashal node module. That is the port of call for the Soyuz MS-25. That's uh, the docking port to which uh, the Soyuz will link up to about 36 and a half minutes from now. Uh, continue monitoring the motion. Keep reporting. Copy. Flying 260 miles over the South Atlantic, a good view of the Soyuz MS-25. About seven and a half minutes away from beginning its fly around in the neighborhood of the International Space Station to align its forward docking probe with the Prashal node module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the complex. 500 meters. Range rate, minus 1.6. And this view uh, from the external crosshair engineering camera on the Soyuz MS-25, a great view of the International Space Station. The Soyuz now has begun its fly around of the station. You can see in the lower left-hand corner, the two values at the very bottom are the distance, 375, 374 meters, separating Soyuz from the station and the closure rate of 1.1 meters per second. meters. Executed. A roll maneuver. Oleg. Stand by for Zafcon. The Soyuz uh, with one uh, final refinement of its alignment for the docking target that you see uh, just uh, below the crosshairs. Good range, good rate of closure. Standing by for contact and capture. Target is in the center. Crosshairs are aligned. Standing by for contact. And we have contact and we have capture. capture Docking confirmed at 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time, as Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 260 miles over central Kazakhstan. The Monday morning commute of Tracy Dyson, Oleg Novitsky, and Marina Vasilevskaya successfully completed. And, uh, so and the docking probe on Soyuz has now begun to retract. A quick view of the newly arrived Soyuz MS-25 attached to the Prashal node module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Again, that's Soyuz arriving at 10.03 a.m. Central Time, 11.03 a.m. Eastern Time, after a perfect rendezvous and docking to the Prashal module. Okay, come in. And the Soyuz hatch open at 12.26 p.m. Central Time, 1.26 p.m. Eastern Time, 
as the station in Soyuz flew 260 miles over the South Pacific. Come here. Marina Vasilevskaya, first in. There is Tracy Dyson of NASA entering the station for the third time. Once again, the hatch to Soyuz opened at 12.26 uh, p.m. Central Time, 1.26 p.m. Eastern Time. Tracy Dyson, Marina Vasilevskaya, Oleg Novitsky now on board the complex. How critical is it to finish everything in the Soyuz prior to the PAO event? Okay, do the PAO event first, and then go back to the Soyuz. Big smile from Tracy Dyson. The crew will be gathering momentarily in the Zvezda service module for welcoming remarks. Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky now in. Good morning. Good. Hello, friends. Marina, Oleg, Tracy, and the rest of the crew, our dear American colleagues. We are so happy to see you. We are happy to see you smile. You're, you've done great. Uh, all the ground support crew is so proud of you. Well, we are so happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here, talking to us. Ivan Nikolaevich, I'm so happy that Belarus has made it safely and soundly to the International Space Station. It took us two days, but we are in great spirits, and I'm super happy that it went this way. This way. I loved all, all the aspects of it. So we've uh, arrived to the stars. Uh, we are so happy that you are supporting us. It's a great pleasure to us and brings strength to us. Thank you very much for being here supporting us. I will be speaking English. And we are so grateful for everybody uh, that has helped us get to this point, both um, through training and execution. And it's great to see all of you sitting there. And uh, we look forward to executing this mission together. Thanks. And Station, this is Houston. We have a few words from the Houston team. Oleg, welcome back to your second home. We are happy to see you on the station once again. welcome back to your second home. I've joined a special group of individuals. Enjoy the experience and may you inspire more people to do amazing things. Tracy, it's so great to see your smiling face back on ISS. Everyone here in Houston, including your family and friends in the viewing room, are beaming with pride watching the screen. I'm honored to represent so many folks who care deeply about you and say welcome back to the ISS. Your dedication and hard work is steadfast and even through the surprises that come your way, but we know that difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. On behalf of the console team, increment team, and your training team, congratulations on your launch and docking to one of the, the one-of-a-kind International Space Station. Thank you. 
Kose, thank you so much for those words, and thank you for everyone there in Mission Control in Houston, the flight control team, the team in the back room, and everybody there in the viewing room. Uh, this has been an incredible journey, one that we weren't quite expecting to last so long in free flight, but we're grateful for the time together uh, because we know now that we're here, we're going to get started with some work. So it's great to be here. It's great to be working with all of you, and um, we're just thankful for all of your support. See you guys up there. Enjoy your night. Bye, guys.